Hi, I'm Alex Skolnick, co-founder and CEO of Liquid Piston. So we founded Liquid Piston back in 2003. Uh, we had an idea, my father and I, about a new thermodynamic cycle. It's really how do we improve today's combustion engines. If you look at uh, how engines operate today in cars, uh, they only convert about 15 to 20 percent of the energy in the fuel into useful work. So my father's a physicist, that always just kind of bothered him. Why are today's engines so inefficient? And is there a better way to do that? Um, I was a student here at MIT. I was doing my PhD in uh, robotics and computer science. I had a background in modeling and optimization. Uh, took a few business classes here. And we ended up putting together a team that participated in the 2004 uh, 50K competition. So we got second place in that competition and that's kind of what helped to coalesce the company. So our approach, uh, as I mentioned, is rooted in physics. Right? It starts with a new thermodynamic cycle, something that really hasn't changed in over 100 years. So it really comes back to the fundamentals of how the engine operates. When we rethink the thermodynamic cycle, we have to rethink basically everything that we know about the combustion engine. So we've patented all sorts of different types of piston engines and rotary engines, and we really honed in on rotary engines because they give you a lot of flexibility that piston engines just don't have. Uh, what we ended up with is something that we call the X engine. It has a rotor, a shaft, and three lobes. It behaves kind of like a three-cylinder, four-stroke engine. Another way to think about our engine is like the old Weinkel rotary engine turned inside out. So the old rotaries have always had problems with things like sealing, lubrication, cooling, emissions, durability, efficiency. Actually, almost everything you care about, they, they actually have problems with because of their implementation, right? They could just never kind of fully catch up to where piston engines were. Having said that, they're very simple engines, just two moving parts. They're elegant, and uh, there's almost a cult following for those engines from the engineering community. People really like them. Very low vibration, very powerful for their size. By turning that engine inside out, we solve all of the challenges that they had, especially with sealing and lubrication, durability, but we also give the engine a new thermodynamic cycle, so it's really optimized for efficiency. And so we, we kind of keep the, the, the nice features of the rotary engine and solve the challenges that they used to have. 